Oh God, I was supposed to do a video for today. <laughs> I goofed. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> I wanted to try something that uh, just popped into my head. Maybe this will work, maybe not so much, but uh, it was worth giving a try, right? So a couple years ago, I took some improv classes to try and improve my ability to like come up with stuff on the fly, specifically for this channel, and I never really put too much of it into practice, I don't think. Maybe I have and didn't even notice, but I just came up with this idea where uh, I use a random word generator, it'll pop up a word, and I have to make up some sort of monologue about that for about two minutes on the fly. Don't know how well this is gonna go, but uh, I figured I'd try something, try and make a little bit of entertainment out of some randomness, and uh... Here we go. Organization. Okay. So. So. Organization. Organization is a very handy tool. It helps you keep things in order, obviously. But, uh, it can also be a double-edged sword, because if you organize things a certain way, and then if someone else organizes a different way, you guys try and intermingle your your spaces and everything's gonna get all hibbly jibbly according to the everyone else and uh, what the fuck am I talking about? I don't know, but uh, it's important to be able to, to have a system where you got, you know where everything goes, you, the placement is in place, and I think that I'm losing my mind here because I can't even think of it. You'd think that I'd be more organized, but I'm I'm not. I I every the minute I clean up an area, it starts getting cluttered again, and I'm just suddenly all of a sudden just talking about myself. I'm so narcissistic, but this isn't about me. This is about organization. I like organization when it works. The only problem is it rarely works because eventually everything will just break down and, ev and it'll go back to chaos once again. That's the problem with consistency, but we're not talking about consistency either. We're talking about organization. Trying to keep things in their place and place things in place. Alright, so maybe that one wasn't so great, but that was just a warm-up. That was my very first attempt. So, but anyway, let's try with a different word. Girl. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. So, girl. Girls are nice. They're so pleasant to look at. They're so pleasant to listen to. Unless they have a big screeching voice. But eh, that's that's neither here nor there. You don't always have to listen to them. You can always hit the mute button. Or unless you're in public with girls and then things get awkward. Because I'm not good at talking to girls. I don't... I, I, I just get all nervous and fidgety, and, I, and then I stutter, and, 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 uh, and uh, send me home. Uh, but anyway, that's not entirely true. Um, I can I can talk to girls. Whether I can get them to like me or want to talk to me, that's a different story. Uh, it usually ends up with them running away or calling me some awful name, but, you know, I talked to them. Um, and besides, there's, there's a dark side to girls, too. I cross them, and oh my god, they will rain vengeance on you like you wouldn't believe. They... Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, they say, and oh my god, if you will scorn a woman, what does scorn mean? I don't know, but they, but they know how to handle that with brutal proficiency and knock you down several pegs. This just got dark, didn't it? 
I'm starting to question the thought process behind this one, but you know what? I've already committed to it, so let's keep going. So, um, bleep. No, come on. Bleep. Advice. Ooh, okay. Okay. Advice. Ah, oh, I'm kind of bad at giving advice, or rather, sometimes I'm good at it, but oftentimes, uh, I don't know how to handle it. And what I mean by that is that, uh, I can give some awesome advice, but it's, it's, what good is giving the advice if you don't even follow your own, right? It's just awkward, because people expect you to have a handle on things because you gave them some great words of wisdom, but then you're just, you're just a guy. Now this one sucks. Steak. <laughs> mm. Okay. Steak, eh? Yes, yeah, steak. I personally like mine medium well. But, uh, it's, what, well, you know, I don't, I'm a, I'm a meat eater. I can't help it. I like foods. And foods usually come in the form of animal byproduct. Byproduct? No, that's poop. That's not good. <laughs> but <laughs> usually food is good for you. It's, it's sustenance. And steak is part of that grouping. Unfortunately, some people don't like steak because they believe meat is murder. But I say meat is tasty, tasty murder. And the tastiest murder is prime steak. I don't know where I was going with that, but, uh, you know. Cows, you gotta love them. They provide so much. Milk for your cereal, and the rest of their body becomes steak. And hamburger, which is a form of steak that has been ground up nice and, and small and chunky and... Ooh! I suddenly want a Sloppy Joe, which is just messy steak. <laughs> Everything is steak if it comes from a cow. Mmm, there are other steaks. Could use a wooden steak, kill a vampire. Then again, that would kill anybody if you drove a straight steak through their heart. Alright, let's do one more and then, uh, then, you know, things. Birthdays. Birthdays! Oh, I hate birthdays. Not really. I just don't like celebrating mine. I mean, if you like your birthday, that's fine by me, I guess. But to each his own. Uh, once a year, we celebrate with stupid hats and plastic plates. The fact that you were able to make another trip around the sun. Thank you, arrogant worms. But uh, that would be plagiarism if it kept going. Uh, not necessarily plagiarism, but yeah, it would be plagiarism. But uh, again, I'm getting off topic because we're not talking about plagiarism. We're talking about birthdays. Birthdays are that stupid thing you do once a year where you celebrate getting older. And why? What, what kind of an accomplishment is that? Everybody does it. It's not special in any way other than the fact that it gives someone an excuse to be spoiled and oftentimes that can backfire I mean you got the little kids that expect toys and cake and all that and then they get grumpy if you don't give it to them and then you have to punish them because they got grumpy because they got ex they expected something for their birthday they may everyone says it's your special day uh, what about tomorrow? Isn't every day special? Not just the birthday. Every day you exist is a special day. Where'd this voice come from? Was I trying to do Carl Sagan? I don't know. I bet you he hates birthdays. I don't know. You know what? That was actually kind of fun, and I might try this again. Obviously, I will try and inject a little more comedy into it, because that is uh, something I want to do. Uh, you know, comedy. Because, you know... It's good to laugh. I like to make people laugh, and I don't know if this will make people laugh, but if it makes people laugh, then hooray! Let's keep going. But not this time. There may be another video later on down the road. But if you liked this one, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. 
hopefully, it'll amaze.